New Testament manuscripts, as well as other ancient books, were written on either papyri, parchment, or paper. Parchment makes up the bulk of known New Testament manuscripts. The terms parchment or vellum are sometimes used interchangeably. At other times, vellum refers to a thinner, higher quality form. Parchment began to be commonly used in the 4th century AD, slowly taking the place of papyri because it was more durable and better suited for writing on both sides. Parchment was generally used until the late Middle Ages when it began to be replaced by paper. There is an interesting story concerning the historic development of parchment as a writing material. The improvement of leather for writing purposes is credited to King Eumenes of a city in Asia known as Pergamum. This city is mentioned in Revelation chapter 2. The word parchment receives its name from Pergamum. According to the story, King Eumenes wanted to build a library greater than the famous one in Alexandria, Egypt. Of course, this did not please Egypt's ruler, who then placed an embargo on papyrus sections that were used to make papyri, the most common writing material at that time. Since Egypt was the only available source for papyrus, King Eumenes was forced to develop a high-quality alternative out of animal skins. Parchment was the result. Although the details of this story have unhistorical parts, the city from which parchment receives its name, Pergamum, became famous for the manufacturing and exportation of this material. Parchment was made from the skins of cattle, sheep, goats, and antelopes. Skins with minimal flaws were cleaned by being soaked in a lime solution for three to ten days, then scraped on both sides with a knife and thoroughly rinsed with water. In order to turn these skins into parchment, they had to be carefully stretched, dried, and scraped with a crescent-shaped knife until they reached the desired thinness. It is because of this process that many parchment manuscripts have round holes in them from the knife penetrating through the skin. Scribes simply worked around the holes when they wrote their texts. Parchment is distinct from leather in that it is not tanned, making it more susceptible to the environment. Two of the oldest known parchment manuscripts of the Bible, Codex Vaticanus and Codex Sinaiticus, were written during the 4th century AD. These invaluable parchments, which originally contained both the Old and New Testaments, were written in uppercase Greek known as majuscules. In fact, Sinaiticus is the earliest known complete New Testament and the only complete one in majuscule form. It was a great expense to produce parchment manuscripts. Not only was the process for creating parchment long and tedious, one sheep could only produce enough parchment for about four pages. It would take around 300 sheep or goats to make enough parchment for just one complete codex, such as Sinaiticus or Vaticanus. Then there was also the matter of the scribal wages, which were considerably more than those of the average worker. A New Testament manuscript cost a small fortune, even a portion was not something the average person could afford. Most manuscripts were commissioned by either a church or an upper-class citizen. One of the unique aspects of parchment is the ability to reuse it. Often due to the costly preparation method, parchment leaves would be washed and scraped until the text could no longer be seen, or only faintly seen, and then reused. These leaves are called palimpsests and require the use of UV light to read and photograph the original text, also known as the undertext. One of the most important New Testament parchment manuscripts, named Codex Ephraemi Rescriptus, was written in the 5th century, then erased in the 12th or 13th century, and rewritten with copies of 38 sermons by Ephraim the Syrian, hence the name Ephraemi. By exposing these leaves in various light spectra, Scholars are able to discover and study hidden text beneath newer leaves. It takes a well-trained eye to notice the faint hints that a leaf may be a palimpsest. The Center for the Study of New Testament Manuscripts has discovered several palimpsests in this manner. Parchment became an obvious improvement over papyri for making books due to its durability. The vast majority of manuscripts that CSNTM has photographed are parchment with paper coming in second and papyrus bringing up the rear. Parchment's popularity for a millennium 
provides us with numerous priceless manuscripts of long-lasting quality. Thank you.